Hi friends, I trust you're well these days. This is a different season of life, isn't it? I don't know about you, but I've been finding myself a bit nostalgic about those pre-COVID-19 days. You know the ones I'm talking about, where we could go to church together, we could worship, we could sing together, we could pray together, we could hug, we could shake hands, we could just be together celebrating as the body of Christ. And other days like um, not wearing masks or being able to get together with friends and family as close as we want, regardless of some virus that is out there, or no toilet paper shortage, or no shortage of paper towels, or potentially a, a meat shortage. All of those things that we had seen as normal life here in the United States, I'm grieving, and I wonder if you are too. Throughout all of this, what God is doing is he's bringing me back to his promises in his word with a growing sense of expectation about what he is doing in our lives and what he's going to do in our lives collectively as believers in Jesus Christ. One of the verses he brings me back to is Habakkuk 1.5, and this is from the New International Version. Look at the nations and watch and be utterly amazed for I am going to do something in your days that you would not believe even if you were told. And at the risk of proof test texting the Bible through these verses, it really is something that God is using in my own life to encourage me to continue to move forward. Just like this passage in Isaiah 43, verses 18 through 20. And I'm going to share this from the message paraphrase. It says, forget about what's happened. Don't keep going over old history. Be alert. Be present. I'm about to do something brand new. It's bursting out. Don't you see it? There it is. I'm making a road through the desert, rivers in the badlands. Wow. Again, promises that God gives us in God's word that we can hold on to in these uncertain days. And as we grieve what we're missing, and as we create new normals for what our routine is and how we relate to each other, whether it's at church or at work, at home, with other family members, I'm being reminded of God to continue to praise him because he is worthy of our praise. And through this, as we wait expectantly to sing him a new song of praise, just like this from Psalm 96, verses 1 through 4, from the English Standard Version. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all of the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Friend, as we're home together in God's word, Let's continue to praise the Lord and let's wait with expectation as we watch him work and as we watch him fulfill his promises because God is faithful and he is true. Be well, my friends.